What's up, my pie family, you guys? Today, I will not be doing your traditional episode on the podcast. I just wanted to come on here and share a message with you guys. And yes, my son is with me right now. He is being aggy. It is bedtime for him, yeah. but excuse him, okay? So you are in a transformation right now. And this is what God is telling me to come on and share with you guys because the message is also for me, but I know that someone else is someone else is going through it and someone else needs to hear it. But you're going through a change. You're going through a transformation. And with change, there comes new obstacles. There comes there comes new challenges. And also, it comes with new change and transformation you have to shed. Think of it like the butterfly. I think it's the butterfly effect. I don't want to call it the butterfly effect. But think of it, of it as a butterfly. Like you're a butterfly. You start as a caterpillar. caterpillar. So the caterpillar is the old you. And then you go into the cocoon where you cooking up and you being patient and God is keeping you in this, this spot, in this place of um, change. And then um, horn as uh, confirmation, but place of change. And then you transform into this beautiful butterfly. So look at it like that. Right now you're in the, the phase of change. Right now you're in the phase of transformation. Um, some of you is more change and some of you more transformation. Take it as how you will. Take it how you will. Um, but with change and transformation, it takes patience and having faith. Now, me specifically, I'm in this um, transformation stage. And with that, I'm going to, I need to have patience. There's been things that I, that that shed it of me, like my old me has shed it. And with the new me, like I said, comes new challenges, new obstacles, and new tests. Spirit will continue to test you. God will continue to test you. So I just feel where that's where the patients come in, where um, patients come in, where it's like everything is happening for you. Everything is not um, a rush. Everything is not... Um, what I'm trying to say is like, it's not bad. What this change and this transformation, when it, when a, when you feel like an obstacle is hitting you, or you feel like you're going through, like, damn, okay, I just, I just leveled up, but why am I still going through this, and why am I going through that? That's because you still like, like I said, new levels, new devils. So, with this form of transformation, I'm just telling you guys to have faith, have faith, be patient. And enjoy the journey, enjoy the transformation, and sit back and reflect, and always give gratitude, give gratitude, express your gratitude, give God thanks, because you're you're no longer where you used to be. Last year, last month, yesterday, last week, you were not who you were though. In the past, you were this new you. So embrace that, have patience, and understand that what's happening for you is to help you grow to help you evolve, to help you become a better you. Be patient with yourself. Um, I'm also guided to tell you to get rest, get a lot of rest, because this new you, this new life that you're manifesting is about to be, it's going to be fast paced. It's going to be no time for rest. Like, so take advantage of this rest. I don't know what you all have been manifesting, maybe starting a new job and changing career or starting um, a new business venture or, you know, getting out there into the world and getting into social media or maybe even starting a family. Whatever it is that you are manifesting, I ask that you be patient with yourself because it's happening. You already put the energy out into the universe. You already told God that this is what you want in life. This is what you need. This is what you desire. It is yours right now. You're going through the transformation stage where you have to be patient with yourself. Take time. Be patient and stay prayed up. Stay humble. Go ground, go ground yourself. Get out into nature. I know when I'm overthinking and I have a little anxiety, I like to get out into nature and just really like ground myself and let myself and remind myself that everything's going to be okay. That, I'm telling you, when you level up in life, when you enter your new chapter, you're starting from ground up all over again. So, me, 
I may move into a new beautiful home in the city and I may, um, you know, got all these new opportunities um, coming into my life, flowing into my life. But with those comes obstacles as well. I'm learning to be patient. I'm learning that everything happens for a reason, that divine timing is very real. So, yes, I may want a new car right now, but God is going to take me through the steps to get that new car. Because if I go out right now and go buy a car, that car is not going to be in alignment with me. So then I'm going to have uh, issues with the car. Um, you know, God has not put a car in my life. And I'm just using this as an example. God hasn't put a new car in my life because it's teaching me patience. Where are you? Where do you need to go so fast? Where do you need to go to so fast? First of all, I live in I live in a city where everything is walking distance. Public transportation and Uber still exist, you know. So even if I did need to get to A to B, I still can get from A to B because I still have a form of transport transportation. Although I do want my own vehicle, I used to drive, so I know how it feels the luxury of being able to hop in my car and go wherever I want to at any given time of the day. But that's where God has put me, God has put me in a position where it's like, okay, we're going to take it step by step because I have a much larger plan. You may want a Toyota RAV4, but I, you might want that 2023 Toyota RAV4, but maybe I got them. I got a Benz waiting for you with your name on it. You just never know what, what God has planned for you. You may think so little of yourself, but God has a much larger plan for you. God has a much, what you think is the plan, God is like, oh, okay, I'm going to let you keep thinking that. I'm going to let you keep thinking that. And then he will also, when you force it and when you go against what he's telling you to do, you're going to continue to go back in the same cycles and continue to square one. So it's very important for you to really rest. Be patient with yourself. Take time to reflect. Take time to, you know, pray and meditate and and um what's the word I'm trying to ground yourself because those things are important. Those things play a role in your journey. It's not getting to the destination. The journey is what's the important message. It's what you had to do, what you had to go through, the experiences that you experienced to get to where you're headed. And even when you get to where you're headed, there's a whole nother mess. Uh, uh, there's a whole nother mission. There's a whole nother journey. When you get to where you're never supposed to get comfortable. And I meant to tell you guys that um, that that's also a part of your journey. I just um, actually got that download but you're not supposed to don't get comfortable with being comfortable don't settle because trust me once why do you think every if you think of it as a game every game board is different every game board is different no you about to get down every game board is different every game board is better every time you level up that level is better than the last level that you were on so look at it like that. You feel me? Every le new level that you level up to, it has more changes. It has different challenges. Not changes, but it's a, it is a change, but it's, it's another challenge. The challenge has become greater. So be patient with yourself in this, this change and in this transformation that you're going through. Have faith that everything is going to work out for the better. You feel me? I feel like a lot of us, we we get to a point of like, okay, I, I got the new car and have the new crib. What's the next, what's the next thing can I get done? No. After, after you done manifested those things in your life, take time to enjoy them. Sit back and relax and give gratitude for the things that you've manifested in your life. Then you can start working on setting a new list of goals. Then you can start working on, um, better, um, um, new accomplishments and 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 new adventures and things like that but focus on the now love on you now be patient another thing that's coming to me is self-love pour into yourself pour into yourself do not leave out of the house looking like what you're going through and i had to tell myself that like i'm not going through something like too major 
but there are places in life where I wish I was, but I'm not about to leave out of the ho this house looking like any old kind of thing because I just, no, y'all know how many compliments I got today leaving out of my house. I dressed up today just to go run a couple errands. I, um, you know, took my son outside so he can see the city life, you know, cause he's not used to it. He's about to be two this month. So like, He's not used to seeing certain things. So I'm like, okay, let's go have a little adventure today. And I told myself, I'm not about to dress like I don't care about myself. No, I'm pouring into myself. I'm loving myself. So today I dressed up. I did a little one-two. And when I tell you, people are like, oh my God, you're so beautiful. This one girl told me your facial structure is something I've never seen before. Like, she was like, you look so different. And I'm like, what? I love that. Thank you. Like, but it felt so good to just be out in the world and like kind of just break the ice because I'm always in a car. I'm always driving everywhere. But right now I'm having car issues and that's okay. That's okay because God has a better plan for me. I know the life that I live is luxury. I know the life that I deserve is luxury. So I'm aligning with luxury and I have to be patient. Some things take longer to get and some goals take longer to achieve. Because that's, it's a part of the journey and that's a part of how it's supposed to go. I don't know, 11, 11 on the clock when I just said that, but I don't know if that makes sense to a lot of y'all. But that is the message that I was guided to come on here and tell you guys, love yourself in this moment of transformation and in this, in this moment of change. Have faith that everything is working out in your favor. Be patient because trust me, the life that you want is yours. You just, you're just working to get there and it's no rush. It's no rush. My name is LaKayla Frazier and this is It's Safe to Say podcast. I hope to see you guys soon.